developing strength and mobility in the hips is crucial for all types of athletic movements, especially when you look at things like grappling, where you need to be low to the ground. So the ability to, to be low and to be able to move easily and move around in this position on any terrain. Okay, so that's hip mobility. It all starts in the hips. And there's many different ways that we can develop the hip mobility because the hip is a ball and socket joint. So it can move in so many different angles and there's no way you can train every angle with just one movement. So I'm gonna show you a routine that you can do to develop the hip structure in several different angles. You're gonna extend here. Your body weight is over the support foot, knee is aligned over the foot. The other foot is out, okay? Initially, if you're not so flexible, you may be forward, but you want to avoid floating the weight to the front of the foot. You want to keep the weight towards the back of the foot, either with the heel down or the heel just slightly off the ground. Okay, so I have my center of mass in line with that support foot. Okay, and the goal is to move your body so that you can ultimately be upright and not have to use your hands. So we're here. Now you place your hands down. You're going to just take a little bit of weight off with your hands, straighten that foot, and also pivot the rear foot. Okay. Now I have a hip flexor here, and you want to come upright, place your hands on your knee, and now lift your body. So now it's getting deep inside that hip flexor. Okay, place it down now turn the foot out. So point, I have my left foot, I point my left toes to the left and I twist, touching the right hip to the floor. Back to the second position, lift the body up, hands down, pivot, back to the first position. Now I shift. stay here from here I can rotate drop the hips come back pivot adjust so the toes are pointing forward on both feet find my balance hands on the knee lift the chest you're gonna feel the deep stretch here keep breathing hands down now turn the right foot to the right body twist Drop the left hip towards the floor or to the floor. Okay, so now you're going to repeat. So you come here, one, two, three, four, five, six. seven, eight, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, do it once again to both sides. And that feels so good that I'm going to do it again.
so you see the form is always very precise okay so work on that that's going to help you you should feel everything open up put your questions in the comment section